All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So to solve this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So then these two cancel out, and i am be left with x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is going to equal x to the power of x minus 2. And now this is equal to 1. Now, I'm going to take the natural log on both sides. So now I have ln of x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln 1. And if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x minus 2. I can move x minus 2 to the front. So now I have x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. And if you guys already didn't know, ln 1 is simply 0. So now I have x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have ln x is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, all I have to do is obviously add 2 on both sides. So I get x is equal to 2. Now for ln x equals 0, I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So now I have e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. Now e to the power of 0, well anything to the power of 0 is 1. So e to the power of 0, that's equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form e to the power of ln a, this is simply equal to a, because the e and ln cancel out. So e to the power of ln x, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 1. So, now to check, my original equation was x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So let's first draw out 2. If x equals 2, now I have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so this is right. Now if I check 1, I have 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and 1 to the power of 2 is 1, so this is right as well. So my two solutions are right. Alright, so in this problem, I have 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So to solve this, I'm going to first go re rewrite 20 here as... 10 times 2, or 2 times 10. So now I have 10 to the power of 20 over 2 times 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So in this case, 2 times 10 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10. Now, from here, I can take out 2 to the power of 10 from my denominator and rewrite this as 1 over 2 to the power of 10 times, all that's left is 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, simply equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 20 minus 10, which is equal to 10 to the power of 10. So now I have 1 over 2 to the power of 10, so now I have 1 over 2 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10. 
Now, if I rewrite this, I get 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 over 2 to the power of 10, which is equal to 5 to the power of 10. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 36. Now, if I take something, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move my x1 and b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 9 to the power of x, and I can move my x1 and x to the front. So now I'm going to have x times log 9 is equal to log 36. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 9. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now log 36, this is the same thing as 9 times 4. So now I have x is equal to log of 9 times 4 over log 9. Now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 9 times 4, I can write as log 9 plus log 4. And I have this over log 9. Now this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Log 9 uh, over log 9, these two cancel out, so I'll be left with 1 plus log 4 over log 9. Now log 4, that's the same thing as log 2 squared. And log 9, this is the same thing as log 3 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a, so I can move both of these to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3. And log 2, that's equal to, or sorry, these two cancel out. So now log 2, that's equal to 0 0.301, and log 3, that's equal to 0 0.4771. So now if you solve this, you get x is equal to 1.631. So this is my answer.